EastEnders has announced Chrissy Watts to return as Tracy and Oberman repri reprises the role. She is both a controversial figure on the show and off the show. She has some opinions that people may not agree with, but that's besides the point as it's been announced that Chrissy Watts will be returning to the soap after almost 20 years away. The subtitle being she'll return for a short stint this autumn, which is going to be a really fucking weird one because, look, Chrissy Watts was integral to the Den Watts death story. So her being back, and obviously Den Watts can't exactly return, it's going to be a really weird thing to see how Chrissy has landed because as far as we know, Chrissy has been, uh, like, Chrissy was in jail. She was in jail for killing Den. I don't know how long she got. I don't know if it was specified. But it feels like she's probably out on parole and needs somewhere to go. But honestly, who the fuck knows? But, uh, like, where even... Did it ever say what she... Why she left? How long she left for? I think she got, like, five to ten years, I think. <laughs> Um, could be wrong, but I'm making the guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna not say anything because somebody will know better than me. So mm -hmm. I, I don't want to get, <laughs> I don't want to get corrected. All right, but let's get into this article. I will say also because we didn't cover it, there was also an article where Chris Glenshaw was teasing that there's a bunch of there's a couple of returning characters for the 40th anniversary. It's about nostalgia, about bringing back characters from the past. So you know there may be some characters you may not expect that will be showing up. On the show, we'll get to that after the Chrissy news, but let's read more. Um, after originally playing the character between 2004 and 2005, Tracy Ann Oberman will be reprising the role for a short stint. Let me reiterate that again. Short stint this autumn. Chrissy was at the center of the show of some of the show's most dramatic stories during a short time on the square, first arriving in the search for husband Den Watts. Now, just some context as to Chrissy with. Chrissy was, you know how, you know how Den Watts would essentially just trample Angie no matter what? Mm. Like, Angie would stand up to Den, but fundamentally, Angie secretly just wanted to be loved by him. Chrissy was beyond that stage. Chrissy would stand up to Den, would be able to, like, scheme and hold her own. She was a big soap bitch. She played that role excellently. So, like, she stood up to Den. Den was playing around, being a dick. Chrissy was already above it. Like, there's no surprise that Chrissy was the one to kill off Den because, you know, it was that vindictive, one of us is probably going to die out of this sort of relationship. Uh, was she also the... No, she's definitely not the fucking woman, the, the dominatrix that Den was sleeping with in the 80s. You know, the... Why was she a dominatrix? The lady that Den was sleeping with. Well, Chan, his miss. I guess, I, oh, you associate mistress with dominatrix. Yeah, All yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Bit of a bit of a rogue one. Uh, but reading on further, she famously murdered Den in 2005 and covered up the crime with Sam Mitchell and Zoe Slater by burying the body on the floor of the of the Vic's Barrel store. While Sam was originally held responsible for the crime, her siblings Phil and Grant returned to the square to free their sister, and Chrissy was imprisoned for murder. The details surrounding Chrissy's explosive return are yet to be revealed, but there are sure to be fireworks when she, reappears, when she reappears on screen. After all, Chrissy made a number of enemies who still reside in Walford, including stepdaughter Sharon and Kat, who is less than pleased that she involved her daughter Zoe in Den's murder. Oberman, the actress, said in a statement, Chrissy Watts was such a great character to play, a victim or villain, she is a real fan favourite. So when Chris Glenshaw, the executive producer, asked me to come back and revisit her and see what has happened in the last 19 years, I jumped at the chance. The scripts are fantastic and I hope the viewers enjoy her as much as I am enjoying playing her again. Glenshaw added, I am delighted to welcome the immensely talented Tracy Ann back to the iconic role of Chrissy Watts, Although the character hasn't been seen on screen for almost 20 years, Chrissy is cemented in EastEnders' rich history for her murder of Walford's most infamous villain and Sharon's beloved father, Dirty Den. I'm keeping, I'm keeping tight-lipped on the exact circumstances relating to her return for the time being, but what I can promise is that it's never quiet when Chrissy Watts is about. And then it, and, and then it ends this week, Chris Glenshaw teased that the show's upcoming 40th anniversary could feature the return of classic characters saying into the autumn of the, and at the end of the year, we've got quite a few treats uh, coming up. 
So just to debrief this, essentially, um, you can probably just go to both our cameras for now. Just to debrief this, Chrissy Watts, as said before, Chrissy Watts is seen as one of the one of the one of the obviously very many, but seen as one of the very vindictive soap bitch characters. Now, it may sound crude, but it is an archetype of a soap character. You think of Janine, you think of Kim Tate, you think of like just any of these characters like Tracy Barlow. You think of all these characters who will give you lip um, in pretty much all these scenarios like Bianca, all these characters who will genuinely just rip you to fucking pieces if you step out of line. Cat, for example, all these characters who hold their own and prove, and she is a very polarizing character. Like I said, she was vindictive, she was manipulative, and she was a match for Den Watts. So it will be interesting to see what, she, what she's what she been doing for the last 15 years. Obviously, some of that time was spent in prison, but for the most part, we don't really know what the fuck she was up to doing. So, are you excited for uh, Chrissy's return? Yeah, it means Dan Watch technically returning again. Technically, not not, not really, but he's returning in name. You, you know, technically, why? Well, you, well, you can't bring back Chrissy without without naming Den. Sure. Ex- exactly. So I I get to be wanky and say Den Watch has been on dead for a third time, baby. Welcome back, Den Watch. Den Watch died. 2005 demo it's written 2024 um it's just it's going to be interesting because how how can you really bring her back she's not associated with anyone on the square unless unless they're going to be like well well den didn't die guys he fucking fled to africa he lived there for years and then died happily (laughs) the one thing that buckles me is the first comment in (laughs) the first comment about this says see nothing but backlash to this Love the love the Christie character, but I think giving her contentious views, they should have just recast her. No, no, I don't think so. Look, just because she has some political opinions, we're not seeing Tracy Ann Oberman, the person. We're seeing Chrissy fucking Watts. I mean, I I don't know the opinions. Ash will turn the off camera, but um, there's a difference between having a few opinions regarding the government. And there is to doing a, a hate crime like Hayley Slater's actress did. There's a big difference. So if she says the N word, it's all right in comparison. And I'll just to express doing a hate crime. she she is Jewish, and there's a lot of things going on in that part of the world right now. And yeah, yes, so she's definitely allowed a fucking focal point. If she's Jewish. You can, you can't. She's allowed a focal point. I'm just saying. Yes, but it's it at this point in time, it is a it is a controversial opinion to have. Well, and anybody off. who is outspoken means that people get a bit angry. Well, I'm not going to even comment because I don't know enough about the situation to make any comments. Um, oh, oh, no, the, the Wi-Fi is giving up. All I know, it will be fantastic. Hmm? Yeah. Not, it froze for a second. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, th- did I get the nice line about me not knowing anything but EastEnders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. So this return will be explosive. Uh, the well, the one thing that does suck is it will be a short return, but as to be expected, does she introduce some new characters? Has she been having a family off screen during this time? Did she have a secret kid with Den? Obviously unlikely because he was old as fuck. But like, you know, it, is there more to know that we like? And there is. So it'll be very exciting. So I'm excited for it. Her opinions, not not for me to comment. So who the fuck cares? Uh, but ultimately, still an iconic character that represents, you know, a better time for some people. Obviously, you will you'll have the people. I don't know who Chrissy is. I think she's a bitch. I think she should fuck off. All right, but I mean, yeah. So it will be very interesting to see the return when this happens. The way it seems is it sounds like it will happen in August, not August, in autumn, or even around Christmas. But the way it seems is it's a short return. Likely, I'd imagine it will be autumn time. So around August, around August that time. I'm mean, still summer, but the the colder months of the year. But yeah, I That's definitely look forward to it. Exactly. Um, but I look forward to it. 
Uh, I guess we can talk about this as well, just as a little minor one. Uh, the article's not up, but there, EastEnders will be doing a spiking storyline for Anna Knight. Oh. Um, uh, you, you can just stay on us. I'll, I'll read through bits. I don't have much to say about it. Uh, you send us announced a new dramatic storyline. We'll see Anna Knight get spiked. Later this summer, Anna will find herself in danger when she gets spiked on a night out at Peggy's. In scenes that will air on Tuesday, July 16th, Anna's friends will initially believe, believe her behavior is down to her alcohol consumption, but they will become concerned for her welfare when they realize things don't add up. And this will also be... I, this won't just be in the EastEnders episodes. There will be a five-part miniseries that will be available via QR code, and it will also be available on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, this will show like warning signs to show, like to see in people who may have been spiked, and see how it'll probably be a very, uh, very open kind of a very scary tale of how quickly. Anna will lose all sense of self as the spiking, like, as the drugs kick in. Um, and while the footage captured by Anna's friends will highlight the outward effects of the drugs have on her behavior and mobility, obviously they're working with a charity, and this is another social issue, which they also tend to do, sometimes to great effect, sometimes to not great effect. Time will tell on this one, but there we are. That's just that. It'll be good to see. It's a good story to tell. I hope it helps at least some people as spiking is an awful thing. It's an awful crime that takes place and it should have absolutely no place whatsoever. Uh, I just want to say when Ash was reading now and you see me do that, I, I was I was excited because I, I heard it was coming to TikTok and Instagram. I was not so excited about the spiking storyline. That's just in case people got the wrong impression, I'm not like, yeah, spiking. I'm not. I'm not. I, I think that's horrible. If you want to, exactly. if you want to hurt a person, hurt yourself. What? Well, probably, uh, probably not. Probably not advice to. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, like I said, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to go kill someone? Just fucking kill a teddy bear. It's not gonna fight back. So I thought I was gonna go somewhere else there for a second. That's when I got worried. But yeah, now and finally, just to wrap through this article that came out, seems like there was a big couple of like soap press conferences. A lot of Emmerdale news came out. A bunch of Coronation Street news came out. So EastEnders has done the same as Chris Glenshaw teases returning characters for the 40th anniversary. The 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 the, the tagline being, "We've got quite a few treats coming up." EastEnders producer Chris Glenshaw has hinted that the show's 40th anniversary could feature the return of classic characters. The BBC One soap will celebrate its milestone anniversary in February 2025, and we're sure the production team have massive twists and, and turns in store for the fans. Clenshaw hinted in an interview with The Sun where the producer confirmed the anniversary will be a time to lean into nostalgia. As we head towards our 40th year, I think the nostalgic element means a lot. He said in the autumn and the end of the year, we've got quite a few treats coming up. So if your favourite characters have been teased at all, if you've been hearing some mentions of David Wicks, if you've been hearing some mentions of other characters in the past, maybe there will be a couple of returns on the horizon. Probably all short terms, because some characters ultimately won't fit into today's programme, but still a return that we can get excited for nonetheless. No, Fat Boy won't return. Fuck off. <laughs> Are you sure? He was... He wasn't loved by all, but he was loved by some. When asked if some iconic characters from the past could return to, e to EastEnders, the producer said, maybe. It all depends on the story and where the characters are, but it has to come from character and it has to come from story. So that just letting to know they're not just going to fucking go, ah, oh, fan service. Bloody hell, have you seen Janine lately? What is she doing? I, I could easily see Carol having a one-off return with David if Bianca is staying on the show in any form. Like maybe, maybe when, maybe when Sonia, well, she's not having a baby yet. But if she has a baby, Carol, Carol and David could return, and you know they they bang Bianca and Sonia's head together, perhaps. Could be an option. There's been some teasers of David Wicks in there. There's been some, a decent chunk of mentions as of late. 
Um, I could easily see a Max Branning return. It's what I've been believing to have happened with Matt, with Peter and Lauren getting back together. Uh, I would, uh, you know, maybe there's a 40th anniversary wedding on the way. Hard to tell. Um, but let's read some more. Clenshaw was coy on whether his team were already dropping hints in the EastEnders scripts for the anniversary, but tease the 40th have, has been in the works for quite some time, and Christmas is well underway. I mean, that's established. I know everybody, I know a lot of the Reddit people say, like, ah, oh, do they even know what they're writing anymore? I think they're just, I think they're just filling time. No, Clenshaw's approach to EastEnders is very structured and very well thought out from what we can tell with the with the planning that came into the sixth storyline this year and obviously the aftermath this year where you now are letting the sixth stuff cool off for a while and obviously later in the year it will boil the fuck back up in anticipation for Christmas and just setting up a lot of stuff for the future. Um... This is just a dumb little quote talking about Danny Dyer being like, I'd come back if I was a hallucination. I'm not coming back. Fuck off. Add another zero on the contract and then uh, maybe. There's a lovely photo of Danny Dyer, by the way, for people looking. This lovely moustache. This lovely moustache. Um, uh, um, do you know what I'd love? I'd love where it's like, yeah, Clencher, I'll come back. Oh, you, oh, oh, Danny, you're coming back. I did say I'm coming back. But add an extra zero, and then I'll sign the contract, big boy. I'll sign the contract then. Add an extra zero. or no. no. And with that, I now realize that this article is over. <laughs> the rest of this article is just keywords, getting in mix return in there, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, so all in all, not really. I mean, it's why we didn't do a solo video on it. Because simply saying, this interview isn't exactly packed with secrets. Now we know that the juice is worth the squeeze as they have just announced the Chrissy Watts return. But ultimately, there's not really much else going on. Time will tell with the returns. Maybe some eagle eye viewers will spot it like the like the viewers usually do. Because, you know, as an audience, we do love a bit of the detective sleuth work. So could my, but... theory, could my theory come to, to place where technically Angie Watts returns to Mars Angie Watts? I don't think so. I... I want Angie Watts back, but not Angie Watts. I still want her back in some scenario. It's just a background character as a little nod. The one thing that buckles me is... Uh, the one thing that buckles me is... I don't know. It's just, it's just, it just soaps in a bad way making stupid fucking changes to a character. A character in Coronation Street has now be, is now pregnant when a whole part of her character for 20 years is that she cannot have kids. But now suddenly when the storyline permits, you know, she's now having a kid again. It's like, oh, fucking hell. But anyways, that's not what we feel about EastEnders. EastEnders are generally or is generally in a good place. And whether you like Tracy Ann Oberman as a person, that doesn't fucking matter. As simply saying Chrissy Watts is money and we will likely see more returns in the build-up to the 40th anniversary so i do look forward to seeing what happens uh do you have anything you'd like to suggest will happen any any returns you want to bank on a prediction for uh do you know like how they deep faked paul walker into past and set past and furious seven uh, yeah brian walker i think it's brian but can we get a flashback scene of young Sharon with, with Angie and Den? That would be... Uh... Deep, deep fake Den into it. I know he's dead, but the, the family like, the family would give a shit. Just fucking pop him on. Uh, bring Danny Dyer back, but have him be an hallucination. Here's one that I would love. You bring Fat Boy back. He runs into the Queen Vic. He goes, guys, I'm back. Hunter pulls out a Glock, shoots him. He's dead again. And then I like, or, yeah. or, or he's like, guys, I'm back, I'm back. And then he runs out the Vic to go and tell Dot, but then gets run over on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I like Fat Fight. He's a cool character. Or, or, I'll say or, that much. Or, or, but also, you know, like in Looney the Tunes. fans are insufferable. You know, like in Looney Tunes, when they just drop around the mantle, you just see Linda yeah. having a piano just hanging out the window. Let, like, let, Linda just chucks a bottle off the roof and it smacks Fat Boy on the head and he's dead. 
No, no, no. I like to imagine a piano. She's just hanging a piano out the green big window and drops it on. Uh, like they did with Charlie Sheen when he was supposed to come back for the two and a half men finale, but the writer got a dick, it became a dick and went, fuck you, I'm writing it the way I want to write it. And just had a piano drop on Charlie Sheen, um, in quotations. But I would love, I would love Fat Boy to come back and be immediately killed. It would be the funniest thing to me. Just, oh guys, you finally got you on, Fat Boy's back, he's dead. Yeah. And now, just to simply add more questions to the viewers. First and foremost, are you excited for the Chrissy Watts return? Just remember, we're talking about Chrissy Watts, not the actress, as polarizing as she may be. And finally, what returns would you like to see ahead of the 40th anniversary, as it is coming thick and fast? We are only, what, five? Not five. We are seven months away from the 40th anniversary and we are closer to christmas than we are to the start of the year so uh, get fucking terrified everyone I, I people, because it's happening sooner than you can imagine i know people are going to be like ronnie and roxy will come back one of them's on a contract for hollyoaks but the other one can come back yeah i mean hollyoaks is acting a bunch of people she's not on it yet but she could be she's not she's not they invested a lot into the character you say that ash it's like oh but guys i'm feeling very sick i can you, can you let me go? And it's like, okay, we'll let you go. Oh, Chris Clenshaw. Got any money there? Uh, I, I'm free to come back. I run Hollyoaks. Uh, 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 don't worry about it. But yeah, point being, who would you like to see return? Tell us in the comment section down below. And all more, sorry if we've been a bit slow on the old news output. We've just been very fucking busy. And the news has not been the top priority. But whenever it comes out, we implore to do it. So thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to join us in the next one and keep enjoying the content and stay tuned for more things from watching Walford. Thank you for watching. Join us in the next one. See you then. Bye-bye.